Charlie here? I can't imagine what you could possibly have to say to me. Um, Carly, what you want... Jax has probably told you that he and I had a discussion about Sonny signing away his paternal rights to Michael and Morgan. Yep. What about it? Sonny and Morgan have both lost Michael. They need each other right now, and I'm just... I'm respectfully asking that you reconsider your decision to separate them. You know, if you had any respect for me at all, you wouldn't be here. So pay close attention. If Morgan is near Sonny, it could cost Morgan his life. This is the only way to keep him safe. Why can't you see that there are other ways to keep Morgan safe? You know, I know you're with Sonny, and, and I'm sure he's more acceptable now in your circle of friends because he's out of the organization, but my kids aren't a part of the bargain, Kate. I'm not trying to bargain with you. And I can't stand the sight of you. Is that clear enough? My son's in a coma because you, on your own, came into my house and took him somewhere without my permission. I'm gonna go now. Yeah, you do that. And don't come back. Hey, oh, yeah. I got a call that uh, you were down at the warehouse. Yeah, Jason wanted me to check it out. Yeah, okay. Just make sure that uh, no one's looking to do any damage. I don't need... I don't need your protection. How many times do I got to tell you? Look, I, I know. You know. But, boss, you, you, don't, wanna... you don't have any guards anymore. Jason's concerned that someone okay, might try tell, to make tell it. Tell Jason you. that I don't want him sending you or anybody else to protect me, to look after me. I'm not a child. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's, uh, it's weird, Mr. C. This is the same kind of thing that people would make me come say to you. I signed over custody of Michael and Morgan to Carly. He looked nice. Um, out of the business. You seem to be taking it in stride. Oh uh, well, you know. This is it for me. I got I I get <laughs> My business associates can take them a while to, to accept that it's real, but they will. You don't, you're not happy. I mean, I did what you wanted. I hope not. Hey, Sonny, don't tell me you gave up the mob for me. What are you talking about? You never liked what I did for a living. No, huh? I didn't, but you did. In fact, you thrived on it. You built a business empire, now you've given it up. Just like that. Well, it's just, you know, it's the right, it's the right time. It feels right. Okay, it feels right good, now so. it feels right. But what about a week <laughs> or a month and you might start to miss it and... I'm afraid you're gonna resent my part in your decision. I don't want you to feel that way. I'm doing this, you know, for my son to my daughter. As you know, we you know before Michael got shot, I was showing him around the warehouse. And I told I told him that this was a, a legitimate real place. At first he didn't believe me. And then I said to him, you know, I'm doing this for you, your brother and your sister. It's looking in his eye. You know what it was? Mm. Pride. Because that's... He, he, he wanted to believe that's who his father was. I'm doing this for Michael. 
so I can keep, you know, his brothers and sisters safer. You think I'm going back on that? I don't. I'm trying to carve a new life for me and my kids. And I need you in it.